Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Night. Happy Valentine's to all of you from all of us at Hashtag Just Saying. Love Day. Sex <clears throat> Day. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking, um, I was talking. I was talking to um, uh, Jay, and we were talking about uh, Valentine's Day. And I don't really, I'm not like one for Valentine's Day. Like, I give less than a shit about it. I know, I know. And he doesn't really, he's just like, eh, whatever, anyway. So he goes, well, thank goodness you're not, you know, you're not one of those, like, I want roses and all that other shit. And I was like, nah. And then I said, um, <clears throat> for research for a second show that I have, I was looking up, like, the most popular Valentine's Day gifts um, of, of, you know, Valentine's 2020, right? A new car. But no. here's the thing. And I found this very sexist. Not sexy. <laughs> sexist. <laughs> was when you Google, like, most popular Valentine's Day gifts or anything like, or Valentine's Day gifts in general, it's all women. Valentine's Day gifts for women. Valentine's Day mm-hmm. gifts women really want. Valentine's Day gifts for women. And I was like. It's a holiday based mm-hmm. towards women. It is. Really, it mm-hmm. is. It is. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I said, well, that's kind of sexist. So I said to him, I said, you know, there's nothing that, like what you can get your guy. And then he looks at me and he goes, it's because there's only thing, one thing men want. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, apparently to get it, you have to buy something <laughs> off this list. <laughs> you got to dish oh. out. You better, get, you better get some flowers or something. And he's like, well, the meal. <laughs> The meal, <laughs> Jeez. yeah. Bernie Mac said good on the, on the movie Friday. It's better to better to to give than receive, my brother. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I was like, "What? That is sexist." My goodness, but it is geared toward women. Yeah. Now, I was talking to my mom on Sunday, <clears throat> and she goes, "You and Jay doing anything?" And I went, "No, we got, we never do anything." And she goes, "Oh," and I said, "Well, what are you and Dad doing?" She goes, I don't know. And then she goes, how come you and Jay aren't doing anything? I said, well. And then just to be an ass, I was like, well, you know, I don't need a special day to celebrate love. And my dad is not a very romantic man. So my mother slams her hand on the table and she's like, some of us, this is all we can get. (laughs) She's like, I only get one day. Don't take this away from me. I was like, okay, I'm sorry. Wow. Have your one day. I don't know. I thought it was Mother's Day. <laughs> well, was, well the, the one day for romantic things, apparently. That's all she can get. My poor dad. He's like, oh, I'm going to text him. Do something, do something. <laughs> She's got <code> red. <laughs> it's awful. My goodness. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. We got a code happening here. Hurry in, brother. Hmm. Hmm. And my, uh, my goodness. Crazy. I, you know, I just, I could not be motivated to work today, and I shouldn't admit that. Oh, it's Friday. That's one (laughs) It's a long weekend. I couldn't be fucked. I couldn't be fucked to do anything. I did work, (laughs) just in case anybody I work with ever finds this podcast. I did do work. (laughs) But my my level was just like, eh, eh, whatever I get done, let I get done. Mm-hmm. There's no hustle in my step. That's what I'm trying to say. I had no <laughs> hustle. Anyway. Five days a week, I never have hustle. <laughs> Sean's like, my hustle's at home. <laughs> I leave it at the door. <laughs> Still under the covers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My goodness. Yeah. So. I thought you were going to say something. I'm like, oh mm-hmm. no, I'm not trying to interrupt. Yeah. No. No, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, I tell you, we're going to get right into things. Yay. Because I, you know, I had a very boring week. And I know things usually happen to me, but most nothing mine, happened. Most of mine are boring, too. Nothing happened this week. 
Which is a good thing. I'm not complaining about that at all. Because it's like, oh, you know, I, I visited a friend. Uh, unfortunately, I had to go to a funeral. Oh, now, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I will. <laughs> Sean's laughing already. I, I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm going to be in a minority with this, okay, is that I didn't know. Now, I, w I went to a funeral on Monday, and you get, they give you, this is in America, I don't know how it is in other countries, we have a lot of people uh, listening slash watching, which by the way, you can watch the first 30 minutes of the show on YouTube, and while you're there, please subscribe, please. show some love, hit the bell. To be notified, Joe. So, <clears throat> so um, the YouTube people, you can listen to the entire show in its entirety in many places, including iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, and Anchor. Anchor. Uh, Anchor is a good one. Download that app. Listen to us on that one. Drop your anchors and listen to us. <laughs> drop your drop your pants. <laughs> so, hey, if you want to, why not? <laughs> Don't you hate pants? Everybody drop your pants. <laughs> Pull up your pants. <laughs> drop them. <laughs> Move <laughs> that person. I don't care. Shit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, this is how dim I am. Not dumb, but dim. Like a light. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> The last funeral that I had been to uh, was my grandfather, and that was not a funeral at all. We all just kind of met at the cemetery because he wanted nothing, uh, which is fine. And prior to that was my other grandparents, and we got a, we got a ride. I wasn't driving. Like, I got a ride. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, not really a limo, but like a, 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 like a car. A car, a hired car. I hired a hitman. A pizza. <laughs> yes. I, I wish there was a pizza. <laughs> I got a story about that. I shouldn't. There's another thing I shouldn't tell, but I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, pizza story. So I'm at a funeral. I'm leaving the funeral home. I have my nephew, one, my brother's boy, behind me. We're walking out. Now, we walk down this hallway, and there are these rooms. And one of the rooms had uh, a door, and the, there was like a glass, a uh, big glass window on the door. So I happen to look down, and I see this little doggy. And like in this funeral, and I'm like, oh, doggo. So my nephew's behind me. And he's like, where? Where? <laughs> so I was like, right there. And he goes, oh my God, it's a dog. And I was like, I know. And he was so cute. He came right up to the door and he's wiggling his little butt. And he's like, hello, peoples. And then I walked out and I got to my car and I was waiting for the funeral processions. I had one of the little placards. And I was sitting there and I was like, you know, that is, this is my billion dollar idea, right? Copyright. Tara. I was going to say. Patent pending. Stamp that shit. Patent pending. <clears throat> is to have funeral homes with therapy dogs. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I was feeling like sad. I mean, it's a funeral, so I was sad. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the dog and I was like, dog! <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I had completely forgotten that I was sad because I was like, oh, a dog! <laughs> you know? I mean, I mean, I mean, you'll be sad, but you'll be able to pet a pup. So, I mean, is that, is that really that bad? I mean, yeah, you'd be like, oh, I miss, I miss Jeremy. But I, I don't. But I really but like. I like this dog. But I really like Sprinkles. <laughs> Aren't you a good boy, Sprinkles? You are. You're so cute. Oh, yeah, puppy. Oh, oh. you're a good puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to Jay, and he's like, that is a great idea. And I said, thank you. And then he goes. You know, when I die, whatever pet we have needs to come to the thing. And I'm like, I'm really counting on having no pets after this, after my dog passes away. And now I'm kind of like, oh, that he wants to have more pets. So I went into work and then I told my supervisor my brilliant idea. And she said, no, nah, that's no good because some people are afraid of dogs. I said, well, I don't want those make people. Make two lines then. I make two lines. <laughs> One that doesn't mind dogs and one that, that, you know. This is the pupper line and this is the pooper line. <laughs> the party pooper. Are you in a pooper line or the pupper line? 
Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. I, I had originally said then those people will probably not want to leave their house <laughs> for a funeral. Yes, you will not want to leave your house for a funeral anyway if you're that kind of asshole. Well, you don't like dogs. So. Or you can be in the next room over. Yeah, I know. So I, I saw a friend of mine yesterday, so I told my friend, and she was like, that's a great idea. And I said, thank you. And then I said, you know, my supervisor said it's not good because, you know, some people are afraid of dogs. And she goes, well, then she was, well, then she had the separate room idea. She's like, well, put them in another room. She's like, give them a little window. They can see the deceased and look at the dog from far away. <laughs> I miss you, Jack. <laughs> Fuck you, dog. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, it's morbid. I'm sorry. Or maybe, um... I don't know. So you got a four-hour wake. Oh, God. My right? goodness. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds long, but... it uh, Well, I mean, yeah. Two hours for those that like the dog, and then two hours that don't like the dog. <laughs> there you go. Dog Split hours? Up. Yeah. Non-dog hours. I like it. I want to be on board. <laughs> it was a billion-dollar idea. That way, those you. that don't like the dog can still go up to the box and... Go up to the box? <laughs> say the goodbyes. Go on up to the box. Or if you got one of those... One of those people, I think, oh, yeah, you, you've owed me for years and try to take that ring off their finger or something. A dog can come I'm over. I'm taking this with me. Not You're not taking that with you. Dog can come over. <laughs> Put it back. Put it back. No. <laughs> My goodness, that's crazy. Uh, so anyway, so I had this all while I was waiting for the funeral procession to go because I was like near the end of it. So we had to go from this from this town in, in, in Easton and then drive all the way down to Cape Cod. And I was like, wow, this is going to be a long fucking ride. Because if, if I had my druthers and I was doing that ride by myself, it would only take 40 minutes. But because I had to follow a whole line of people, mm -hmm. it took like an hour and something. Right? Because you're going so slow and shit. Yeah, well, you're driving so slow. And then it's like we were on the hot... Here's the thing, though, right? And this is the point I wanted to get across. Is i never been in a procession like that, mm -hmm. okay? So I didn't know that you could go through lights. That's the fun part of it. I, I, you know, I mean, if there's one bonus, I mean, you know, it's like, oh, lost somebody you love. I'm going through these red lights. Well, my my grief. You love, but you're laughing at everybody over there my, with a green light. My grief will not let me sit at these lights. I am going. I was like, I was amazed. I'm like, what? Are we really going through these lights? Yes. I texted Jay. I'm like, I'm in the funeral procession. He's like, oh, okay. Sorry to hear. And I'm like, we're going through lights. And he goes, yeah, you can do that. And I went, I didn't know. And he goes, yeah. And I was Seems like, cooler when you have a police escort. But there was, a, well, I don't know if there was a police escort, but there was a a, a car with like a, a blue light like at the top. Uh, the Ectomobile? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. We were going to bust ghosts after. <laughs> we ain't afraid of no ghosts. So, I don't know. But, uh, so he's like, yeah, you can do that. I was like, oh my God. So... We, we like, we like go through all these lights, and then we get on the highway. Here's the thing. The other thing. For, I don't know. I, like I said, we have people listening from all over, watching, listening. So it's like, I don't know what the custom is in other countries, but in America, America, you are not allowed to cut a funeral procession. Right? You're not supposed to. You're not, yeah, it's in yeah, bad form. Bad form. Very disrespectful. Oh. You know what? This is a little sweet thing, right? So we're like driving. A little doggy? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to bring a little wholesomeness into this for you. As we're driving down the road, and these guys are working on the side of the road, the road workers working on the side of the road, and the funeral comes through, they all took off their hard hats and hats and went like this as nice. we passed. I was like, <laughs> You're doing America right. Nice. You're doing America. Unlike Trump. <laughs> He doesn't know what Kansas is. So, <laughs> so we like, like nobody's cutting on us and we're going through all the lights. So we get on the highway 
and we all take up the left lane. Left lane. Left, left lane. lane. <laughs> left lane. Left lane. Now, I felt bad because the person behind me was older, and we're all doing, like, the speed limit, like, like 60, 65, and they're back there doing, like, 30. And, like, there's, there's like, two cars, and then the, the end car, like, the one with the little light. Mm. So I was like, oh, man. Like, I kept looking, and I'm like, you're going to lose us. <laughs> you're going to lose us. And you're going to gain, like, five other cars that don't belong in there. I know. In that's between, a thing. Because they're going to think you were the last car. Yeah. And they're part of something else. So it's <laughs> all right to go in between. <laughs> it's this, I'm that <laughs> asshole who would get in and just be like, I'm not part of this. I'm not part of this. God bless, though. I'm not part of it. I'm not part of it. I just need to get to the next exit. <laughs> oh, man. This is horrible, too, but I'll tell you. Um, you know those situations where it's like, you want to pee? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try again. <laughs> That's so random. No, no, no. It's not random. I promise. Those situations where it's like you want to pee, hold on to yourself. But there's just not a good time. <laughs> Shad's like, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you've got to go, but there's not a good point for you to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so like I'm at like the funeral and I realize I have to go to the bathroom but it's at a moment when I mean like they were about to do like a, a eulogy some sort of eulogy thing so I'm like well shit I can't get up like you think like it's that old thing where it's like if you get up people look at you like are you protesting dude where are you going yeah yeah Come on. <coughs> Excuse me. So Come I was on. In, sit back down. And I was in the back too. But there I was in the back, but there were people standing behind me. So I was like, there's no way I can get up and slip out. Plus I didn't know where the bathroom was. Mm-hmm. And that's always like bad. Like you gotta ask. It's like I, then you gotta find somebody or just keep opening doors till you find a bathroom. Right? I'd say try to get there a few minutes sooner and then look for the bathroom. <laughs> So you know where it is in case you have to go. Well, here's the thing. I, Scope it out. I have, I have so, and this is where this comes from. Is like I have social anxiety. There was a lot of people there, many of which I did not know, and this was causing me to be anxious. So then I had to pee. But it, this moment struck me at a moment that was inopportune, and I couldn't get up and go. Mm. I know, because I was like, there. I'm going to look like I'm either protesting. The, the, the funeral, or they're gonna be like, "Oh, she's making a statement. She's walking out." You're like, "I've had it with you, fucks, <laughs> all of you." So I'm sitting I'm t- there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, and afterward, we take like the long way to the highway, and I'm just sitting there, like, mm-hmm. okay. Now I didn't know where the I didn't really know where the the uh, the cemetery was, but I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I bet you. I could jump out of line, go to a Dunkin' Donuts, pee. Get a donut. Possibly. And then get back in line before that slow-ass person behind me had bridged that gap. Right? Yeah. I was thinking that most of the way. And then we were driving down 495. We literally passed my exit. I went, my house! I could pee at my house! That would be great! I'll be back. I know. I know. This is horrible, but it's so true. So I was like, oh, man. So then I got to the funeral, uh, the, the, the cemetery, and, you know, that uh, that you know occurs. <clears throat> and then afterward, there was this other thing. It was like 10 minutes down the road. So in my head, I'm just like, okay, the first thing I'm doing when we get to this other place is finding the bathroom, right? So I find, uh, like, we get there. I go running in. I go to the bathroom. Yes. So then I, I find the... Um, I don't know what you call that. Is it an after party? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, that sounds too jovial. It's like I'm at the after party. Family gathering? Yeah, gathering. We'll call it a gathering. So I, I go upstairs to where the gathering is. 
completely missing that there's an elevator. My fucking knee and ankle have been killing me all day. And uh, I get upstairs and I say something to my nephew. And he's like, oh, you could have taken the elevator. I'm like, that was an elevator. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Oh, I just, I feel bad taking the elevator because it's like, eh. I'm not that handicapped yet. <laughs> I will be, but not yet. Oh, you keep taking the stairs like this, you will be. I know. So I'm speaking <clears> to soon my... Soon you'll be riding those little cars in uh, Walmart. I know. Oh, no. I hope I never make it there, man. I hope I never make it there. I'm I just still gonna... feel half those people can walk. I think that way, too. It's in the supermarket, That's why you're too. so fat. In the supermarket, too. Yeah. It's like, come on, man. You could probably get around. Stop riding them just because you're fat. I know. So I'm chubby. You really can't walk, and you really got handicap problems. Fine. Yeah. But I see people walking from the cars to those things. Then mm-hmm. they sit down. They do that. <laughs> Dude, I make sitting noises. <laughs> we make sitting noises. I've heard you like you sitting. Yeah, yeah not like that. <laughs> no, not like that. But still, no, you got a lot to sit with. So I, I find my nephew, my my brother's youngest boy, and I said, uh, I said, hey, and you know we're talking, and then he goes. Boy, I tell you, the first thing I did when I get here is have to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, me too. And he goes, I've had to go since the funeral home. I went, me, me too. too. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, I just, it wasn't the right, I was like, it wasn't the right time, right? And he's like, yeah. Me like, too. Oh, somebody gets it. Thank you, Christopher. Somebody gets it. Oh, boy. That was jacked up. <laughs> mm. yeah, funeral days are long days. They really are. I felt I, uh, it was a it was a very shitty day. That's why I prefer a wake. But sometimes I don't understand wakes either. I you know I don't really like wakes. I can't stand them. Well, one they're not awake. <laughs> <laughs> so it's asleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and the weird, the weird thing is, <laughs> see that like telling somebody like, I gotta leave at six tonight because I gotta go to a sleep. <laughs> you gotta go to a what? I gotta go to a sleep. They're not awake. <laughs> and they won't be. Yeah. But that's fun and weird. Because you go there, you think, yeah. every, you think everything's gonna be sad and tears and all that. And yeah. A lot of times you just see the whole family just like standing around talking to each other and laughing and talking about everything but the deceased. Um, uh, I see that Sometimes that happens. I sometimes that, that happens. Sometimes. I told, um,. Who was it? Uh, who was I talking to with that one? I don't know. But I mean, if you had puppies, you'd be happy, right? Yeah. Right. You're like, oh, sprinkles. <laughs> Who's a good sprinkles? Oh, you're a good puppy. <laughs> oh, you're a good puppy. <laughs> oh, you kisses. Kisses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you kisses. Oh, you kisses. I don't. I'm not big on wakes at all. I told you I'd know. I go to sleep. <laughs> I asked, I actually, when I came home, I was having a chat uh, with Jay, and I was like, do you want to wake? And he goes, no. And I said, well, actually, you don't really have a choice. <laughs> and he goes, what do you mean? And I was like, that's pretty much whatever I want to do. And he goes, well, what if I don't want one? I said, well, you're dead. What do you do? You got to come back and haunt me? I'm all right with that. As long as you don't move shit. Stop moving my keys. He probably like, will. Shouldn't have given me a wake, Tara. <laughs> now I'm relocating. Why'd you put a dress t- on me? <laughs> I'll put him in a suit. That would chap his ass. <laughs> you better be good to me, or I'll put you in a suit when you die. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> <laughs> I told him I don't, I'll go on record. No right shorts and sandals. <laughs> nope. I told him right now I'll go on record. I was like, I don't give a shit. I was like, you do whatever you want. I mean, the, the, those things are for for people to get their closure and do what they need to do. And I say, I said, I don't care. And I, and I said, I actually told him this too. Right, I was right. like, whatever you want to do with me. Because you want to stuff me and mount me in a corner, God. Want to want to bury me, cremate me? I don't care. I'm dead. What do I care? <clears throat> whatever helps. No, I understand that you want to uh, go into. About going to that funeral. Yeah. But it's just weird on how uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we're talking about love and then we're talking about death. You know what? Death is part of life, I guess. It's the end of it, right? Right. You don't get her what she wants, then you're dead. <laughs> no, I don't want anything. 
No, not you. Just her. Oh, oh. I, okay. Uh, and you know what? Not everybody wants to talk about love. Especially once it throws restraining orders on each other. Ooh. That's that. Mm. That's a whole thing. <laughs> I feel like that's a whole thing. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Get away from me. Yeah. Take that. Bitch. Well, we'll, we'll lighten it up a little bit. We actually do have some Valentine's stuff coming near the end of the... In, in the second half of the show, but... Um, I, pr- I, I, I give this to you. What is the worst context to hear someone say, Oops. <laughs> 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 serious uh, <laughs> I'll give you a few uh, cutting your hair cutting your cutting hair is a good one Sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> number eight <laughs> that one's up there um when the dentist has a drill in his hand <laughs> and then the, the person said I once had dental work done by a student who kept saying oh my god I'm so sorry while in my oh, mouth wait <laughs> It's so it wasn't you calling in? I know. <laughs> oh, by the way, I went in Tuesday and I was like, I'm very sorry I wasn't here yesterday. My boss was like, funeral, I get it. It's like, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I had a dental assistant do that to me the last time I was there, followed by the dentist replying, nah, it's fine. It was not fun. I agree. When you're getting a vasectomy... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I had I just this person said, I just had one and my doctor said oops and then she immediately <laughs> said just kidding because we were joking around beforehand and did it to lighten the mood. By the way, it's a surreal experience. I recommend everyone tries it. Wow. Okay. Well, there are some people who absolutely should get a vasectomy. Sometimes you can tell just by looking at them. <laughs> I know. You don't need to open up your mouth. I know you shouldn't reproduce. <laughs> Uh, no. No. <laughs> yep. When you're getting a haircut. Hey. There you go. At the operation table. The bomb squad. <laughs> when the pilot says it. <laughs> says it like, oh, the intercom. It's like. This is your captain speaking here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> 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 exactly. You're like, oops. Don't look out the left window. <laughs> <clears throat> when you're about to go under anesthesia. Nah, that's not when you want to hear it. Oops. <laughs> this, one, this one floored me because there's only one reason somebody would say oops after this. After a fart. <laughs> there's only one reason you'd be saying oops. It's not a good reason. When you visit a nuclear power plant. Oops. <laughs> Homer. <laughs> when you're walking over a bridge and your friend drops the only comb your group had into the water. <laughs> Stand by me. Stand by me. That's why I put it in here. <clears throat> As a text from your babysitter who then doesn't reply to anything. <laughs> Oops. That's when you hit home. Do you remember how many children you had when you left? You don't have that many now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Fuck, I was just stung by a bee. Quick, get my EpiPen from the first aid kit you packed. Oops. <laughs> Your waiter delivering a bowl of hot soup directly in front of you. Well, if that goes poorly, you can just take off your pants. You said earlier. <laughs> we said earlier, pantless. I misplaced my pants. When you're having sex. I was going to say that a little while ago. That is not a good time to hear oops. Uh, the phone rang and startled me. <laughs> oops. Getting a tattoo. That's bad. Yeah, that's permanent. Be like, and you're doing the cover up for free. Better be. When your baby is being delivered. <laughs> Here comes the head. Oops. <laughs> Wait, the same line. <laughs> when my sister is driving, she drives over the curb at 60 miles an hour, and all I'll hear is, oops. <laughs> I had a friend when my uh, when my friends first started driving. 
God damn, she would nail every fucking curb. Like when you mm. turn to the right or whatever, she boom, 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 boom. She had a beast of a car too, so it's like, oh. I used to tease her for years. I'm like, boy, you ain't afraid to run over a curb, are you? Whatever they've done to you, you've had it. <laughs> She's like, I hate them. I guess so. Circumcision time. Oh. Oops. Right after your wife or girlfriend reads off the results of her own <laughs> pregnancy test as negative. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 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 A doctor during a colonoscopy. Uh, don't. Ask me. <laughs> don't mess around on the back door. I can tell you that. <laughs> Got an oops during a spinal tap once. It wasn't any fun. I bet. I bet, yeah. I was in a hotel and I walked past this room. The room was next to mine. I heard the bed bouncing. Then oops. And a little while later heard them yelling at each other. Oh, that mood's killed. Oops. When your dad asks you to hit the brakes to test his brake lights and you accidentally hit the gas. No brakes. No brakes. No brakes. No brakes. Man, you know, you got no brakes. <laughs> Oops. Your instructor when tandem skydiving. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, boy. One time my sister was on a car trip with us and for some dumb reason in the middle of nowhere she opened the door and her book bag and stuff fell out and all she had to say was, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my crap. <laughs> Did I do that? Yeah. I used to take uh, some guitar classes and there was a girl I liked so one day I went off the class and one of my colleagues blocked my way out Dick. And shouted, why don't you say to Beth that you like her? She pops out the doorway. He went, oops. <laughs> oops. Oh, Lane, I heard you ain't taking Beth out. No. I can take her out. I can go both. Punks. You punks. Okay. That's, that's, that's... <clears throat> More than enough of that. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. No, you're not. I am a little bit. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Um, be sure to subscribe. Please subscribe. If you made it this far, you might as well just subscribe. Show love. Subscribe. Uh, you can ring the bell to get notified when we uh, upload videos. Joe. Dang, mother. Ding, mother. <laughs> dang, dang, mother. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Once again, you can listen to all the, the, the full audio on a bunch of streaming platforms. Too many to name. Well, with this episode, you might want to go there now so you can hear what we got to say with the funny Valentine stuff. Oh, the Valentine stuff is going to be good. Uh, we also have one other, a couple other good things. You're going to want to hear the whole thing. Trust yeah. me. Uh, don't forget to wash your apples. Um... Happy Love Day. Oops. <laughs> Sean's got something to tell you. Tell him, Sean. <laughs> Have a good everything. <laughs> Have a good Valentine's Day. Now go get some loving, baby. Oh, my. All right.